Hi guys, VST here, Venas Fix Tech. Today I want to test Lone Chair 2 with the Google Fit part of it. And guys, this is something that never has been on my phone, so I'm just gonna do it in real time together with you. The whole process, review all the settings, so pretty much not a prep video, what I'm saying, I'm gonna do it in real time, just discover some of the settings. I want to see from Launcher how much and how well it works with Android 10, because I know that some of the custom launchers still have some issues, you know, with Android 10 integration, gestures, and etc. But without any further ado, guys, let's open the webpage here. So Launcher app, you can apparently download it from the Google Play Store, but I will advise you to go on the APK Mirror when you can fetch a more recent version, because the one on the Google Play Store thing is not so updated. And actually we can check, so if you go here and you see Launcher 2, and if we go about this up, then we can see that the version here is from the 4th of December. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm going to go back to my webpage. I'm gonna get it on APK Mirror because I'm pre pretty much sure that there is a more recent version. And as we see here, right, if we're gonna see that there is a version from the 6th of February, right? So let me try to download it already guys, okay? Okay, APK downloaded. And with that said guys, I'm also going to download the launch feed which is actually used to be able to give you the Google feed to the launcher all right so let me just go again download now all right the two APKs guys are already downloaded so without any further ado let me just first install launcher and then we're going to install also launch feed see what the settings are how it behaves and yeah see if I'm gonna like it all right three two one pressing here do you want to install this application apparently yes Pressing the install button here. Takes a while. All right, up installed. Now I'm pressing open. Create widget and allow access. After you create a widget, launcher can access all data it displays. All right, why not? All right, okay. Let's press create here. Allowing launcher to access my files. And boom, I think here it is guys. Already we are running now, I think the launcher launcher. You see, it's, it does look really different from the OnePlus launcher. This is more like a pixel inspired launcher, right? Now here we have guys, low fit. So let's press long fit. Installing it as well. Okay, done. Let's see what happens now, guys. Okay, it seems now that the launcher has been launched. You can guys see I have already installed launcher, but when I go to the left, I don't have the long fit. So we need to enable long fit, and I think this happens by pressing a toggle. So I'm gonna show you how this works. So just hold your finger like this, go back to home settings, then you need to search for the plugins, and then boom, there it is. Show Google App Fit. Alright, now when we do like this, and let's do it just like that, go back to the home screen, swipe left, boom. You see, this one works. Quite, quite nice guys, I can tell you, right? So you see up, all updates, all my cards. I, I really like it. All right, guys, um, with that said, let's just see some of the settings. So I tried to create here a folder. Uh, you know, I have my social apps like Telegram, Twitter, Messenger, Facebook, WhatsApp, Viber. Something that I didn't like now, let's see. I want to add Viber on the desktop and then create, you know, Viber and Telegram in a social folder. Now, of course, I have too many applications. Here we have the Google search. Now, when I press Viber, right. we can find it. And I thought, listen, I just take Viber and put it on my desktop, but I cannot because it just says this is another that's related to what you're typing. So if you want to move, you know, an icon from the drawer, you know, on the home screen. Now, guys, I think I found a solution to the problem where you cannot really search for an icon and just drop it from the drawer on the home screen. And again, I told you, this is so customizable. We just need to change here the search layout to not be Google, but something else. So if we go home settings, we have a whole settings for the search layout. Now, search engine is Google app, all right? We can go Google, we can go Bing, whatever, right? So if we press here, app search, all right? And we redo the launcher, you see here? No Google search anymore. And I just hope, let's try to bring now Messenger from the drawer to the desktop. So let's search for Messenger and you see, okay, that's what I meant. All right, so guys, I think we have now let's see how we can create a folder. It should be pretty straightforward like we do with uh, every launcher out there. So let's just take Viber icon. Okay, hover on. All right, let's take now the messenger and put it also here. Now, all right, I like the, how it's represented. Okay, but we see that we don't have a folder name. So let's just click here. Now we see a Telegram Viber messenger, right? Now unnamed folder. And of course here we have three dots. So let's just click on the three dots. Here guys, interesting, unnamed folder. Okay, so let's put here social, okay, all right. And now I think this is where it gets interesting, guys. Swipe up, do nothing. 
Use cover mode, tap to open first up, swipe up to view all. You know, I think that's a nice feature. So let's press it like this, okay? Now, when tap to open first up, swipe up to view all. Now, when I tap the folder social, I should be able to open directly the first up. And when I swipe up, I should be able to view the hours. Let's see how that will work. Okay, let's minimize this. Now, we just have here Telegram icon. And when I click on it, of course, I will launch my Telegram. Then if I do like this, guys, I'm just going to kind of like, you see, swiping up and having access to more of my applications. That's a neat feature. Let's try to add Twitter there as well, all right? Twitter, okay. Hold it up like there, put it here. Okay, again, one of the coolest features, guys. Right now I have the social folder, right? Just works like a normal folder, right? But I can default and go here, all right? And I can choose use cover mode. And this will actually open every time the first application here, right? And if I swipe up, I can see the others. Now, if I change the application's order, boom, the first one that will be open when I just press the icon is this one. Now I'll show you also something else that is quite important, guys. Right now I have here the Arnova camera, which is pretty much the place I have my Arnova camera when I use the OnePlus with the stock launcher. And here I have the Unis camera. So I can take the Unis camera, okay? And I can put it here. Then I'll have a folder where I have the two Google cameras, all right? Now this you can also do with the OnePlus stock launcher. Okay, we're gonna go here, we're gonna put Gcam, okay? But then we're gonna do the following, all right? Having put here Gcam, okay? We're gonna go and we're gonna use the cover mode, which pretty much is going to open the first app, right? That I have here in the folder. Okay, you see, right now it looks that I have only one Google camera. I press it like this and boom, there's the Renova camera. But if I swipe like this, I'm going to be also able to launch the Unix camera. And I think that's quite a nice, uh, a nice touch to that, right? Right now when you pick up the phone and you open the drawer, it's just pretty much the standard stuff. And we know in the OnePlus stock launcher, when, you, when we go here, we have like social and healthcare and whatever, like cameras and wallpapers. Now, this was something I was missing, but here I think we have something really better. Let me just show you. Go home settings, right? Then guys, you need to go into drawer and then you see here, there's something called categories. When I hit categories, there are plenty of options, but I can categorize apps and I can create like separate folders or separate tabs even. So let's go for tabs, all right? And then let me create separate, uh, this one apps is already existing. Let me create a new one and you can do like a custom one or do an automatic one. So let's go automatic one. Okay, and then let's choose what area. So let's have all the games into a new tab called games, all right? And now actually the launcher is going to do this, I think absolutely automatically, I hope so. Okay, I have 16 games. <laughs> you see, we have apps and we have games, okay? How crazy is that? I can tell you, really like it. And you can do here games, you can do Google camera, or you can do like snap edit or photo edit software. You can pretty much do a lot of options, but it's highly customizable, guys. And that is why I like it. Some more tricks that are worth your attention, guys. Nothing's here, something different. I have a very clean look and I have actually reinstated here the OnePlus original widget. Now see, the very clean look comes from the fact that I don't have here the status. Now when I do it like this, okay, you see, status bar is here, okay? Now when I do it like this, it's gone. Very neat, you know? Uh, I think if you have a OnePlus 8 Pro, maybe you'll not be able to appreciate it, I think because you know why. But having the OnePlus 7 Pro kind of makes you be able to go with this cleaner look. Now that's achievable if you press and go to home settings, all right? And then guys, you can go to desktop, and then you can see there is an option here called hide status bar. But I wanted to show you guys something uh, else which is very interesting. Now, let me remove my widget, right? And let me just actually go to widgets. And we see from long chair, we just have actions at, at a glance, right? The search bar thing is rather clear, so I'll not cover this. Let me first try to cover the at a glance widget, which I think is something very interesting, all right? So now you see just here we have the date, we have the temperature, etc. Okay, I'm just gonna put something on Spotify, okay? See what happens right now, guys? Immediately the song that you are playing get displayed here, right? So you can just stop the application, okay? Let me just try to kill everything. Boom, it's not there, right? Now this is easily customizable. You just need to go, of course, back to the home settings. Then you have a whole menu called at a glance. You can go back here to at a glance and then here, guys, show date, boom. Now we have on temperature, right? Show time, okay, show date. 
then you can go for the large clock like this right you can use 24 format let's go like this and then here you see we have weather source you can use google app we have then data sources and this is something very cool i this is pretty much something i like very much now data sources you can see we have now playing you have the battery status you have greetings you have also calendar events and actually you can kind of like customize the way this launcher and this widget displays the information i think that's a very neat feature right and also something i wanted to share guys if you go from widgets let's just choose the other one here called actions so you just put something on your home screen and boom you're able to set direct shortcuts just with one button so let's just press here open notification panel right and let me just go and put this one i have put here the open notification panel let's see what happens when i press it i mean of course what else should happen <laughs> open notification panel if i just hold my finger like this and i just go to customize i can apparently you know select a few options swipe up right now does nothing but when i go here swipe up right let me just play youtube rewind distorted okay now just hitting it boom opens the notification panel and swiping up <laughs> we'll play youtube 2018 rewind all right so you see what i mean here plenty of options you know guys for you to customize this but i think this that i'm showing right now are you know the, the ones that i found to be very very handy so i hope that you kind of like enjoy it Another interesting function is the so-called gestures and don't get me wrong, it's not the system gestures guys. Now everything that is already set up by my OnePlus Oxygen OS is still working which is pretty fine. But let me just show you. So we can go here, press home settings and then we have something here called gestures. Let's take the first one called double tap. Right now when I just double tap on the screen nothing is initiated but let me just show you guys. I can go double tap and I can open notification panel, right? Boom, there it is something very very handy guys double tap you can even choose a specific application to be open so let me just uh, for example choose all right choose Deezer okay now let's say I want to listen to Deezer and I know I have set up this setting I just do like this boom Deezer application has been opened how good is that really like it guys let me just go back home settings you can then have other actions for touch and hold okay. now if you want to set up the launcher you just take your finger press the screen okay and here we have home settings now this is where the magic happens first let's see about all right here we have launcher and this is the version guys that we can see right so now let's go back and let's now explore guys all the settings so if you are familiar already with launcher then this rest of the video is probably not for you but if you see this also for the first time like me on the oneplus 7 pro you can stay all right the first thing we can do here is apparently team if I press the team, we can see we have the icon pack, system icons. Okay, there, by the way, I can choose all my other icons. And you see, I have a lot of, I have a lot of icons. Okay, icon masking, much intim icons to icon pack. That should be a nice feature. Icon shape, all right, you could be also using some other shapes, which is pretty much fine and nice. Okay, now here, this is the style theme. Theme, dark theme set by system. Okay, use pure black. Now, oh, wow, okay, you see, now I think there's something really cool, guys. You see, when I'm not using pure black, it's kind of like dark, but it's not really black, all right? Now, when I go here and I put use pure black, anyway, if I go for dark test, okay, no, this is probably too much, but when I use pure black, then everything. this has been the theme setting. Now we have desktop, so let's press the second option, which is desktop, and see what settings we have there. You can choose apparently the icon grid a low overlap we have notification show notification count okay then we have dock okay what is he enable dock show background then again some settings pretty pretty much very customizable guys i know that there are plenty of things i was not able to cover in this video but hey guys listen if you just want to have a new experience a long channel with google fit just one swipe away then definitely you can try out the solution i'll put the link down to the launcher and launch it apks inside the video i just want to thank you guys all for watching this video if you like the content i'm doing please subscribe to my channel like the video that's the only way for you guys to support me right now and with that said again Guys, it's hard times for everybody in the world. Stay safe as much as you can. Stay home as much as you can. And yeah, just have some nice time. VST over and bye.